Hey, Fenton. Hey, Fenton. Hey, Fenton. Fenton's been working here in this stained glass studio for the past... How long? Wow. Well, long time. The thing is, the long years isolated from the rest of the world in this lonely studio, it's left Fenton a bit... Well, twisted. Bitter. His familiarity to these symbols that he spent most of his life working with, it's blunted his appreciation for what they represent. And that lies his forthcoming downfall. Hush, Fenton. Anyways, Fenton was working late one night, like most nights, when something unusual happened. Quickly dispensing with the formalities, the stranger presented his proposition. Never mind the specifics, he said, but I'd like you to put this cross on one of the panels you're working on at the moment. Only, I want you to put it upside down. For a gag, a joke. Naturally, Fenton declined. The stranger elaborated that he was willing to compensate Fenton, his words dripping like honey. Then the stranger named his price, and Fenton felt his underused heart flutter. Taking that as a yes, the stranger thrust the cross into Fenton's hand, and without another word, left. I'd say that was the longest night of Fenton's life, contemplating that cross. But that wouldn't be strictly speaking true. In actual fact, the bit that happens next was to become... Well, just watch. Nothing, Fenton. There's no real morality here, as such, but that doesn't stop the big true. There aren't any standout moments with Fenton or his fate, but who cares? It's kind of comforting knowing that we each have the capacity to make just one mistake and end up just like...